Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's the first time you've found me, my name is Tanya. I film videos about lifestyle, fashion, beauty, haul videos, uh, anything that's going on in my life. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you click on the subscribe button. Today's video then is a room tour and a makeover video almost. Um, it's a video that has been a long time coming because, um, the, well, a couple of things, the room took longer than I thought it was gonna do originally and then just haven't got around to actually filming it. Um, but I thought, you know what, Tanya, you sit in this room and you film other videos, so maybe it's time now, while it's tidy, to actually do a room tour. If you've been following me for a while, you might know um, that I got, well, I got divorced last year. Um, we split up the year before, I think it was, 2017, beginning of 2017, and I stayed in the house, basically, but you know what it's like, there's a lot of memories in a house, so I thought that I wanted to make some changes to put my own stamp on it, make it more my own. Um, so, bedroom obviously is one place that you want to do that. So grab the drinks, grab the snacks, and uh, take a look around. This is what it looks like now, and I'm gonna quickly show you what it looked like before, and the work that I did to it. So this is how it used to look, um, quite neutral, um, wasn't very girly. Wardrobes were in when we moved in, they were fitted wardrobes, uh, the walls were white, so yeah, um, not a lot of character to it. So I wanted to put my own stamp on the room. Um, the bed has been moved now, that's the only thing I miss, it's, it's actually sort of looking out the window in the morning but uh, I decided it was time for a complete change so it's Wednesday morning and work has finally begun on my bedroom uh, what I'm doing is getting a fireplace put back in it's not going to work, it's just for decorative purposes I think, but that's how the fireplace would have been originally. I don't know why they did them off centre in uh, these houses, it's not in the middle. But um, yeah, that's where obviously the new fireplace is going to go. I've got um, a cast iron one which is... Um, I think reclaimed and, and been done up. So finally starting. I took all the fitted wardrobes out myself. So um, that's all going to be replastered. So I will show you the room as we go along. So I've got home and as you can see the fireplace needed a lintel, which is typical because that means it costs more money. But, you know, he's took the, uh, the rubbish away, but he's left for the day. Uh, I finished at dinner time because um, he says he's got to wait for the concrete to set before he can do anything else. So it's Thursday and uh, as you can see, the builder has been back. He's squared off the fireplace and uh, he's put some fill around it and in the gaps where the holes needed filling. The plumber should be coming in tomorrow um, to tidy those pipes up there and put them under the floor because I want to put a wardrobe there. And then hopefully the one's coming back in tomorrow to uh, do some plastering. Just to catch up with you then with my bedroom which is where I am now. Um, still looking pretty much the same. Plaster's dried out. 
the builder's back in again tomorrow to finish the electric and uh, I think it's just plastered this wall. Here we go. This is my bedroom. As you can see, mirrored wardrobe, mirrored um, furniture generally. You can see I am in the casuals today. <laughs> uh, and you might get a shot of the slippers occasionally. So yeah, mirrored wardrobes, um, all the furniture as I said was from Furniture Direct. They uh, delivered it and assembled it for me. So there's the two wardrobes, the tall set of drawers and two bedside cabinets. They've all got these, um, would you call them kind of um, like diamante effect handles they fitted them um i'd probably be too scared to, to fit them myself i'd be frightened of breaking the the mirror but um but yeah they're all matching and uh, the wardrobes have got drawers at the bottom the drawers have all got the same handles um there's six drawers in the tall set and three uh, on each of the bedside tables. Um, crystal, in fact, that's the word I was looking for, wasn't it? Crystal effect handles, not diamante. Um, but yeah, so uh, the flooring then, this uh, was from B&Q as well. It's actually laminate. I think it was American walnut, something like that. It's quite a darker shade. Um, my brother fitted that for us because uh, he's a joiner. The radiator, I didn't change. That was, um, we replaced those when we bought the house. So they are about 10 years old. Um, they're just smaller radiators. I think they throw out the same amount of heat, um, but they just give you more wall space for furniture and decor. The light switch then is brushed chrome. Again, that was from B&Q. The chair here you can see, which is lovely and uh, furry, uh, I actually got from Wayfair. Uh, again, that had to be assembled um, by myself, with a bit of help from my brother, I have to say, because um, I lost my patience with it. Uh, the cushion then is from uh, Georgia Asda. Pretty much everything in the room is available from sort of high street stores and well-known um, shops. Uh, with the exception maybe of the mirrored furniture uh, that was as I say from the company online furniture direct um, I think it was a couple of thousand for all of the mirrored furniture um, so artwork um, I've got um, a few prints in here the Coco I don't do fashion I am fashion that was from Desenio I've got three above the bed uh, that were also from Desenio. Uh, two of them are quotes. Nothing like a motivational quote, is there? So the first one says, your mind is a powerful thing. Fill it with positive thoughts. Your life will start to change. Uh, the middle one just says dream. And um, the end one there says, you're a diamond dear. They can't break you. Then over here, I've got a Kate Moss print. I'm trying to think what the name of that one is. Is it Life is a Joke or something like that? Um, again, that was from Desenio. I didn't buy the frames from Desenio because they are quite expensive from there, I find. So the frames um, are actually from Ikea. So I've got the two white frames and then um, the, like, the brush chrome frames there. 
I have the door because I don't want the door banging into the mirrored furniture and smashing it. Um, I've got a little doorstop. That was from the range. Over to the bedside table then. Uh, the lamps, which I think are really pretty, they were from B&M. So you've got like the crushed velvet effect there. Uh, I've got my phone on there. I've got one of those chargers where you just place your phone on it. Uh, I think the charger was from Amazon. The flowers there, um, they were from the range. The candle, I got this one quite recently actually. I don't know if you can just focus on it. There we go. That was from the Light Candle Company. Um, calm French Lavender. Obviously everybody knows that Lavender is meant to be calming. Uh, I haven't lit it yet. I kind of almost think it's a shame to light it. But you know how some candles don't seem to smell that much when they're in the house? when they're not lit. This one does. It's really quite strong lavender, uh, which I like, so that's cool. Um, I don't really have a problem sleeping. <laughs> I stay up like way too late, so I always sort of get to sleep. And um, the mats there, they, I'll just pick that up to show you. They were from B&M. Again, so the glittery mats. Got four of those from B&M. Obviously, I always pop the candle on there so the furniture doesn't get too hot. And then I've got other ones for my drinks and things. Um, speaking of drinks, obviously I've got some books down there, but um, I've usually got this at the side of my bed. This was from Primark. Um, it's a 2.5 litre water holder um, that is so because I'm trying to keep up my uptake intake sorry of water um, so try and get through that in a day so best thing to do when you wake up in the morning is have a drink of water actually you can just see I've got some lemon in there and you can see it through <laughs> through the container Um, my laptop is also there as well at the moment. That cover was from Amazon. So the bedding is a mixture of things. The duvet, uh, which is grey and it's got sort of a diamante effect there, velvety finish at the top. Uh, that was from Julian Charles. You can get those on the net, or they do have an outlet at um, MacArthur Glen, the uh, East Midlands designer outlet. I haven't been there yet, but I want to go and uh, want to try and go there soon. Um, so it's got it came with two um, pillow covers. The other one is from. Primark. Actually, the bottom sheet is from Primark as well. Because um, I just thought, you know, you don't need to get an expensive bottom sheet, do you? Um, I would have loved to buy the cushions from Julie and Charles, but they were quite expensive. Um, so at the moment, I've got these silvery ones. With you can see the glitter in. Um, they were from B and M, uh, and just just put that cushion the right way around. That one as well was from B&M. At the bottom here I've got a throw which I think was from Wilco. Um, And then there's just another throw at the bottom there, the furry throw. Uh, that was from Primark. The bed itself um, is from Dwell. So it's a double bed. 
gloss white and um, I think it's called Notch is the uh, the type uh, but you can get that as I say from Dwell my only regret was there's no storage with it uh, my old bed that I got rid of had drawers underneath uh, whereas this one doesn't have storage um, but it is really low that was the first thing I had to get used to with this bed because as you can see see how high it is if I'm stood next to it so it's all in one the headboard is with it um, the paint there, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, probably not, I mean it, it is subtle but in the paint there from Valspar it's kind of a glittery, it's kind of a grey glittery effect but yeah you can't really pick it out on the camera and then obviously the rest of the room is just white emulsion. Um, the light that keeps the cast in the shadow and everything, there we go, um, that was from Argos and then moving over to the fireplace, um, this house is a, well it was born, born? <laughs> it was built in the 1940s. Um, and it did originally, it would have originally had a fireplace here. Um, when we took the carpet up that was in, there was like a little bit of a hearth, but we had to unfortunately remove that. It was burgundy tiles. There were some missing, so it was nothing that we could kind of salvage really. Um, but the wall had been all filled in and plastered. So the fireplace, actually I just need to, you've probably seen that. There's a bit of paint missing there which I keep meaning to get around to doing but the fireplace itself then so the the white surround and the black grate and fire um, they were from eBay I think I paid something in the region of 200 and so pounds for that I had to get a builder to fit it obviously um, it's not a working fire um, I could have had it as a working fire, but obviously you've got all the maintenance with the chimney, um, so that would all had to have been done. So it is just decorative, but I think it's a nice feature. And um, in the fireplace there, what I've got is, what do you call it? Is it potpourri? Like cinnamony potpourri in there. Whoops. And then um, just some fairy lights. There you go, so you can have that nice glowing effect at night, which is quite cosy. Um, to the side of it here, uh, I've just got a candle holder. It's more decorative really, I've never used it. Um, probably because I'm too frightened to because it's made of wood. So <laughs> to me, wood, wooden flame doesn't really work. Um, but yeah, that was from um, a factory shop at Mablethorpe. I can't remember what it's called, um, but it's on the high street at Mablethorpe. On the mantle the here, we've already looked at the picture from Desenio. Um, I've got a wax burner, which was from B&M. And the flower in the glass bottle, uh, the whole thing was from Primark. Uh, I've got a rug on the floor because you have to have a rug in front of your fire, don't you? Um, that was actually from Aldi, uh, which was again a good buy. I think that was about thirty pounds. Moving over to the window, the curtain pole um, was from B and M, and I got it with like um, the ends of it kind of match, although they're bigger, they match the mirrored furniture. Uh, the curtains again are velvety effect, I wanted something sort of long and glamorous. So again they were from Julian Charles, the same place that I got the bedding from. I couldn't find any others that were that long and um, to fit that width as well. Uh, and to be honest, I never really draw them. 
Um, I sleep with the curtains open. Normally got a window open, not usually the big window, but maybe a little one at night. Because I think I like to wake up sort of naturally with the, the light outside. Because um, you can see the window looks over my back garden. Uh, then on the window so here I've got um, this vase which was from the range. Uh, the flowers, the fake flowers in it were actually from uh, a local garden centre, uh, Brookfield Garden Centre. And obviously you don't get the real smell of flowers. Um, but one tip is to, I haven't got it at the moment, is to put um, um, something like Zoflora on a cotton pad, stick it in there, and that will make um, the room smell nice as well. Uh, and Zoflora is really cheap, it's a pound for a bottle, and has loads of uses, as I'm sure you know. Uh, finally then, a couple more bits. This was from, um, factory shop in Mablethorpe as well. Still got the price on it look. <laughs> two pounds. Um, I just saw it and I thought, do you know what, for two pounds I'm having that. It'll go somewhere. Don't know if it's staying there but that's where it is at the minute. And then um, I've got an aloe vera plant because I think they're said to purify the air. So um, I thought that's a good thing to keep in the bedroom. Uh, and I that was from Lidl. It's only a few pounds from Lidl. And that's in a pot which I think was from Wilco's. So thank you for watching. If you do have any questions, pop them in the comment box below. Make sure you are subscribed and click on the bell button to make sure you're notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you so, so much for watching. It does mean the world to me. And um, if there are any videos you would like me to do, um, again, pop a comment in the box below and uh, I'll see you all again next time. Take care. Bye.